Hi, my name is Peej and welcome back to a quick MoGraph Monday. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this title MoGraph animation. One of the tools I'm going to be using today was made by Smokey. Uh, Smokey is a YouTuber that also makes resolve tools and macros and he makes some very good ones. He made the SM outline, he made the SM radial, and the SM stands for Smokey. He has what he puts in front of the tool and he made inner shadow. He did a bunch of resolve content and stuff like that. And yeah, his tools are really good. So I do suggest you go look at those videos. I will link them down below. You can get them and use them because I use them all the time. Start off our animation, we're gonna grab a fusion clip, drag it onto our composition, have it last one second long, like I have it right here. I'm gonna go inside the fusion composition. First, let me just add a background node, connect it to the media out, and put turn the alpha off. I'm gonna grab a three text node from right here then a 3d render node from right here connect this together and then put this 3d render node to the background node and then we're going to type some text let's do smoky and then change the font and size it however i want so I'll do that right now uh, in order to access the 3d controls you go to the transform tab up here and then you could either make this farther away with the z length or you can bring it down like i do with the y or something like that if you know if you want to stylize the text we go into the 3D node, and then if you hold Alt and the middle click button, you can drag around like this so you can see your text. Um, on the text 3D, we're going to go into text and extrusion, and we're going to make this extrusion go all the way up. So we have something like that. And then to add a color, second color, we're going to go to shading and turn off use one material. Turn on so the bevel materials up, and then we could choose any color we want. Let's do something like that. Maybe more saturated. Right, that's fine. Then we can choose the uh, surrender. And you can see you have this. Let me just fix this so it goes angles it a little more. Something like that. Now I'm going to use Smokey's tool, SM Outline. So, SM Outline connected to the render node. And you change the amount. It goes up like that. And I might change the color to go so it goes black. So a nice little outline, just like that. And then we can add this SM outline again. Bridge it up with the two inputs. And then we could change this color to white. And that's this nice little text effect. And now we're going to do the uh, circles and stuff in the background. So I go to the background, add, add a merge. And I, I'm going to add a couple merges. So we're going to add a, a couple of shapes. The first shape we're going to do is the SM radial. So I have, just bring this in. I have it like this, connect it up. And when you first open SM radial, it's going to look like this. It's because it's way too big. So we're just going to size this down. And then we're going to turn the detail all the way up so it becomes a circle. And then turn this angle so it goes like this. I'm going to do uh, 20 degrees should be fine. And then we can size this back up so it goes to the edge of the screen. And then let's just do a nice animation. So I'm going to keyframe the angle. Just like that. Let's keyframe this angle to start. Let's just move it. So we can have a start from there. Go to there. Let's go. Let's open our spline graph. And on the start angle and start end angle. Let's get a good, better view of our spline graph. Zoom to fit. So we want to highlight all these nodes, hit S. And then what I'm actually going to do is hit Control T, and it brings up these uh, transform controls. So while I have both of these lines selected, if I move these numbers, it's going to move the lines in a certain way, so they're, they're going to be the same length. And then I want to do this one, which controls the top ones, and I'm just going to have a curve like this. And yeah, so a nice, nice curve like that. All right, now I'm going to copy this node and I'm going to paste it. So I have a second line connected up and then we're just going to change the, grab the middle. You can change everything. So to start, bring this over here, something like that. Uh, you could change the spine animation, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is add a circle in the middle. So let's do SM. Not SM, S ellipse, and then S render. That up there, connect it to the merge. Then let's resize our circle the way we want it. 
or have something like that. You can even change the color, style, eye drop. Let's go with that red. And then we're gonna animate the circle. We're gonna have this be the size at the end for the beginning. And let's make that smaller. And then we can change the spline graph. Control T to get out of that. Something like this, or maybe if I put it up like this, it gives a little semi bouncy effect of the circle. And I can also animate the text to something like this. And let's grab a transform node. And then I want this text to have a, an elastic kind of effect. So I'm going to right click the zoom and modify with an atom curves. We go to modifiers, change the source to duration, the curve to easing, and then this part, we're gonna change it to elastic. And then we're gonna change the scale and offset. So the scale is, is how much it changes over time. So we're gonna start from a scale of one, and then if we change it to our offset of one, and then we change it to scale to 0.2, we're gonna bounce up just by 0.2 of, of the value. So if we go from zero, we do like 1.2 then we have a bounce like that it's a little too much Maybe one or 1.1 yeah, you have a little elastic animation uh, you could uh, modify it even more you can open up your spine graph and then it has hit the zoom animation right this button right here it brings up the spine graph and then you can mess with the time scale make it longer in the shake nicer and smoother and the last one i have is i'm going to copy all these nodes and i'm just going to paste them and connect them to these node graphs so they all they all have their own separate uh border just like that and it just adds a little bit more like emphasis and just uh, design to all the whole animation makes it look more complicated just uh, a nice looking thing if you have any questions or suggestions on what I should do in the future, please let me know down below in the comment section. If you'd like to join the Resolve AMV Community Discord, there's a link in the description as well as my own server if you'd like to join. And with that, subscribe and have a good day.